Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my everyday makeup routine. This is the makeup that I pretty much gravitate to whenever I have to put makeup on. <laughs> Whether it's for taking photos or filming videos or doing some sort of online event, this is the type of makeup that I've been doing. Lately, I've been really drawn to more pink tones, so you'll definitely see that throughout this whole video. And I tend to go towards those colors closer to spring. So I wanna look a little bit more like fresh faced and like youthful, I guess. And then in the summer and fall, I go for like orangey tones. So this is my like almost spring everyday makeup routine. If you are interested in seeing my everyday makeup routine for this time of year in 2021, then just keep watching. Make sure you check out my other videos on my channel and subscribe if you're into them and let's go ahead and get started. This time I'm actually going to start out with foundation instead of concealer. I'm using a mix of two of my current favorites. It is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation and the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. Both of them have very different finishes and together they give me that like perfect natural dewy everyday look that I'm going for and they're both like practically the same color so that helps a lot. I'm blending it out with this blending sponge. It's a microfiber blending sponge. I got it from Blend My Face and it actually gives a really nice like finish to the foundation. For concealer, I'm using the Kosas Revealer Concealer in two different shades, one to highlight underneath my eyes and brighten other areas of my face. And then I'm using a slightly darker one to conceal any blemishes or redness that I have. And I just like doing this because you don't really want to highlight a blemish. So I would definitely recommend getting two different concealers if you like to have bright under eyes and obviously a different concealer to use on blemishes because they're gonna be two very different colors. So I like to have that. And to powder my face, I'm using the Bite Beauty Change Maker Pressed Powder Foundation, or I don't know if it's actually foundation or not. You can get it in a lot of different colors and it does add a little bit of coverage, but I just really like the finish of it. It's talc free. For brows, I'm using my go-to Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil. I use this almost every single time I wear makeup. It is like a foolproof, easy eyebrow pencil to use. I love how skinny it is. It comes in a lot of different shades. I find that the medium brown matches my brows the best. I also think it's easy to get natural brows with this with the natural looking brow brush strokes and also more dramatic brows. So it's a pretty versatile pencil. I also like that it has a spoolie on the other side. And to set them in place, I'm using my Essence Lash and Brow Gel. I brought a, bought a brand new one yesterday, so it's like perfect and clear and it looks so nice, but obviously it will get dirty pretty quickly because I always use it after I fill in my brows. <laughs> Moving right along to eyeshadow, I've been using the Tarte Tartlet Little Bloom eyeshadow palette. This came out as a like three set of miniature versions of their popular Tartlet palettes. And this one has a lot of the shades from the original in bloom tartlet palette but it also has a couple new ones so if you don't have this one you can obviously just use the regular tartlet in bloom palette and you'll get the exact same look pretty much so i'm just using those two shades that you saw with the little x on it in the crease and a bit of the outer corner of my eye as well as underneath my eyes and i'm bringing it kind of close to the inner corner but i'm also making sure to connect it to the bit of like a buffed out cat eye shape that I like to do my eyeshadow in. Then I'm taking the shade called Funny Girl. This is also in the original palette. I wanted to use some of the shades that are in the original one just in case you don't have this one and I'm just using this all over my lid. This is definitely the type of makeup that I tend to go to for an everyday makeup look and I like how it adds some brightness. Now taking the middle top shade, just this one this time, I'm going to apply it to the outer corner of my eye, blend it into the funny girl shade and out into the outer wing part and just make sure it's all buffed out and blended. These eyeshadows tend to blend out really easily, which is great. So I'm going to take the darkest color in the palette and apply that as a 
little eyeliner. That's no surprise here if you watch my videos. I don't typically like to use a liquid eyeliner because I like a more diffused, smokier look for my eyeshadow in general. It's pretty rare that I would use a liquid liner, but I do like to add a little bit of a wing and then just kind of buff it out with the side of a little angle brush just to make sure that it looks more diffused and smoky. The mascara that I've been loving lately is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Formula. This is a basically clean version of, obviously, the original Lash Blast, Bla wow, Lash Blast Mascara, which is definitely a fan favorite. So I like that they came out with a clean formula. I add a couple coats of this to my lashes. It does a pretty good job of separating them, but also volumizing them. Not so much lengthening. I don't get a ton of length out of this mascara, which is okay. I tend to just want more separation and volume. And then I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face. I will use the Lawless Velvet Matte Bronzer. This is another talc-free formula. I been trying to add more clean beauty products into my everyday makeup routine since it's something that I do wear all the time. So I've loved this bronzer. It has a really beautiful finish. It almost has a slight like radiance to it without being too shimmery, obviously. And I'm just applying wherever I want to kind of contour and add some warmth to my skin. And then for blush, I'm using one of the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez liquid blushes. This is in the shade Bliss. I got it, I think around Christmas time or Black Friday, it came in a set with a little lip balm too. And both of the shades are really pretty. I'm actually really wanting to try out some of the new blushes that are like cream formula, I guess. But this one is so pretty. I love it. It's a really nice everyday shade, but it also has like a vibrance to it that just makes you look more awake and glowy. But it is actually a matte finish, but it still gives a healthy glow like color to your skin. <laughs> For the highlighter, I'm using this palette from CoverGirl. It's a True Blend Super Stunner palette and I'm using the middle shade. Also, I wanted to let you know I'm using all brushes from SL Miss Glam. These are all from her brush book and I love her brushes so much. I love Stephanie, she's so sweet and she gave these to me a while ago and I just wanted to give her another little shout out because they're awesome. Lastly, for lips, I'm using a lip liner from It Cosmetics. It's the Your Lips But Better waterproof like lip stain pencil. And this is in the shade Buff Nude. It is also a lip liner that I've been really drawn to for the last few months. And it actually does last a very, very long time, which is so nice. And it is a really nice Your Lips But Better shade. <laughs> On top of that, I'm using the Burt's Bees Gloss Lip Crayon in the shade Outback Oasis. This is one of my all-time favorite lip colors. I use it when I'm wearing super casual makeup, when I'm wearing dressier makeup, I wear it on its own all the time. But I did want to add a little bit of extra something just for the video, so I'm adding a gloss from Too Faced. This is one of their rich and dazzling glosses in the shade Sunset Crush, and I love how it looks. It gives a little extra pop and juiciness to the lips. So that's everything for my everyday makeup routine for this time of year. Let me know in the comments if you tend to go for the same colors for your everyday makeup or do you switch it up? That would be really cool to know if you guys like to switch up the colors that you go for every day. I would like to be more adventurous with the colors that I do with my makeup, but I just like to keep it really natural. That's just what I like. So I hope you're all having an awesome day. If not, then I hope tomorrow is better. Thank you so much for watching this video. Also, if you did not know, I have a podcast with one of my best friends. So I'll have that listed in the description box below in case you wanna check it out and listen to our episodes. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.